go. You might be able to tell there's a lot of haze in the air, even though it's windy. Close the aperture way down. Thought I'd try that this time. There's maximum zoom, 70x. Zoom out so you can see the horizon. X. Oh, some clouds. Cool. I think that's all. There's a lot of local clouds around the rocket, or at least between me and the rocket, so it's lighting up the sky. But that's my lens wide open. It's just not showing up. That's aperture closed down and uh, zoom at about 40x. I've really been going back and forth between the wide angle, zoom out, zoom in, aperture open, aperture closed. I'm trying to see something interesting. Now it's very high overhead. Opening the aperture again, zoomed out to 35x. I'm getting a very good rumble from this one. open. That was a nice display. That's 15x. That's the booster on the top left and the second stage on the center right. So I'll zoom in on the second stage a little bit. I'm in night mode. This is the upper stage. I can usually see a little bit more plume in night mode, but not tonight for some reason. spending a fair amount of time looking up, not watching it, so the tracking is not that good. Okay, there we're getting something. Okay, this is 15X. Well, I'm getting pretty good jellyfish effect tonight. In fact, it's showing up, yeah. It's 
it's really lighting up quite a bit of the sky. This is night mode still, but zoomed out to only 5x. Quite a show up there. Okay, now I'm going to change my camera aim because when it gets right to the bottom. This is 20x. 50x. Pretty cool.